Welcome back. We're here at Sunapee Landing Trading Company, and joining me now is one of their resident artists, Deb Bacon. Thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. This is such a lovely space to have your work in. It is. It's a beautiful um, gallery mm -hmm. and area. I really enjoy being here. It's been a wonderful experience for me. That's um, wonderful. To be here. Well, good. Tell us a little bit about how you got started as being an artist. Sure. So um, I've primarily been involved in art my entire life. Mm -hmm. uh, right now, I have two primary focuses. I do plein air art, which is mm -hmm. painting out on location where you go out. And so I get to enjoy nature as well as um, enjoy my painting. So it involves the two loves that I have, <laughs> um, besides my family, of course. Yes. <laughs> and uh, so I've been painting for a number of years now. Mm -hmm. I initially started as uh, at a newspaper and did um, artwork for them mm -hmm. in their composition and graphic department. And then I went on to being a sign painter. So I was a sign painter for approximately 25 years. Oh, goodness. And then I um, read an article about Fran Weston Hoyt, who was mm -hmm. a native here, and she was a plein air artist and a first generation Frank Vincent Dumond mm -hmm. student. So I studied under her, and I found it um, ironic that his start was very similar to mine. He also worked for a newspaper. He did sign painting and then oh, became neat. a landscape artist. Mm -hmm. So he was a very influential um, instructor and painter in the uh, early 20th century. Yeah. But uh, so from there, I went to uh, fine art painting. Mm -hmm. um, Things went to computerized one in sign painting, so I decided right. to go in a different avenue, uh -huh. and that was a great change for me. And it was mm. really nice to develop my uh, skills in the fine arts and being outside, painting outside. Um, so I paint primarily in this area because mm -hmm. I am a native of so Santa Cruz, so mm -hmm. I paint a lot of the the lake the views around here, local views, yes. uh, people who want commissions of the views that they have that they love and can only see one time a year or right. certain times. So, right. um, the view from your bedroom nice. or something like yes. that. Do you do, yes. do you do quite a bit of that work? Uh, I do, commission? yes, mm -hmm. which is really nice because it's great to work with people mm -hmm. on what their passion is as well. Sure. Um, and my Second focus right now is I'm also working with uh, Scott Morrow, who is a premier Hollywood uh, photographer. He mm -hmm. was also a child star. Neat. And he has given me exclusive um, permission to paint some of his lovely photographs. So I do my version of oh. his photographs. One of them is here at the landing right now. It's called Dawn Splendor. So they're primarily larger versions around a two foot by three foot and that gives Whoa. me a little different avenue to go down and that's been really fun. Um, he's a wonderful person and um, it's so nice to be able to uh, paint those as well. That's really so. fun. Wonderful. Yeah, that's great. So let's talk a little bit about the gallery downstairs. You know, you've got a number sure. of paintings down there always evolving and revolving. Yes. and. It, this gallery here at Sunapee Landing is my primary location where mm -hmm. I d um, display my art. Yes. And it has been a wonderful location for me for selling my art, for having people have a place to come and be able to see it, view it. Yes. Um, she has a great selection here mm -hmm. of very, very talented artists yes. and a number of rooms. I think there are about five rooms mm -hmm. full of different sorts of fine art paintings. And it's a beautiful place to come and uh, tell, I tell a lot of my um, contacts, people I run into, mm -hmm. and when they come down, they just are in awe of everything that's here. Right. Your work plus many other artists. Yes, yeah. yes. That's so great. that as well as everything, the whole experience of mm -hmm. this, the gallery and shop here. We're very is, lucky is to great. have it here. Um, and but but the public will be able to see you and a number of other artists at the Fine Artists Show, which is coming up August fifth through seventh. 
Yes, uh, so this will be my fifth year. Mm -hmm. um, it's been going on for six years. Mm -hmm. uh, this will be my fifth year, and it's a very high end um, with jurored artists, yes. uh, just select jurored artists, and it's outside, mm -hmm. so it's rain or shine. Uh, on those three days, it's Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, mm -hmm. and has we have a wonderful flow of people that come in and come by, people who are interested in art, who yes. want to have that experience, or who are collectors. Uh, it is a great place to come and just enjoy. It's, there's no pressure, there's no yes. admission free fee, so it's just a nice place to come and enjoy art. Yes, uh, great. As well, and see all of the varied artists mm -hmm. that are represented here. And meet the artists, which and is nice, too. And meet the artists, yeah. um, have conversations with them. People mm -hmm. really enjoy the different artists and getting to know them, mm -hmm. experience them. So if you have some of the artwork, you also have a background on the person who painted it. Could even see them painting right. the painting. It's itself. perfect. I went so. last year and it's just terrific. Oh. Yeah, so good. Well, good, but we've got your information up on the screen. If anyone's looking for commissions or want to look a little bit more at your work, you have a lovely website. So thanks hey, for joining thank us today. Well, thank you so much. Okay, I appreciate care, it. Deb.